Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Pete from PMG Auto Care, and today's video is all about this stunning Porsche Cayman S. Guards Red really is an iconic colour. When you think of the Porsche brand, it's probably the first colour that springs to your mind. Now the owner of this little Cayman has decided it's time to part ways and move on to pastures new. So why is he getting that detailed? That may seem like madness. Well, presentation is absolutely everything when it comes to selling a specialist car. Most buyers of cars like this are buying that car with their heart and with passion. And if you can leave that car in flawless condition, it gives them less room to negotiate and lets them follow up with it immediately. This car is already in pretty decent shape. As you'll see from the walk around, there really is minimal swirl marks. There's not a lot of grime and dirt on the surface of the car. It's obviously been very well maintained. So now we're going to do a full decontamination wash. And we'll get it in under the lights and see what we're really having to deal with. As you can see, this car is in great shape. It's obviously taken care of very well by its owner. But there's always room for improvement. The camera isn't really picking up the true severity of the defects, albeit they're not bad. It's mostly wash marring and should be very straightforward and simple to deal with. Now we're not going to be doing any ceramic coatings in this car, so it's going to be a good opportunity for you guys to see just the difference in gloss that paint correction on its own can make to a car. It wouldn't be worth the time or financial investment in a ceramic coating when it's right at this stage of resale. It'd be a great idea for the new owner and it should be minimal work to do that going forward. But having the car ready for resale and blowing the socks off any potential buyers, this is the absolute right choice to make. Correction wise, this is guards red. It can be challenging. We're hoping to do a one stage on the car, but most likely it's going to be a two stage because there's going to be a little bit of micro marring from the initial correction. It should be straightforward though. Haven't found any nasty surprises, but you just never know until you get on with the job. Now normally, this is where we would cut the show and you us starting into the paint correction on the car, but there's one little job we have to do first, and it's one thing that's gonna make a massive difference to the visual appearance in this car. And that is, there's some pretty poorly touched in stone chips. Perfectly natural for a vehicle to get stone chips over the period of its life. Sometimes if they're not repaired correctly, they can even look worse or draw as much attention to the defects as, as leaving them alone, leaving them untouched. 
The added benefit though is at least there's no corrosion there to deal with. So before we get cracking the correction, I'm going to have to do some chip repair. There's some fresh chips that haven't been touched. We need to sand out any of the old ones to see what's underneath and that's going to leave us a fresh base to start with. So we'll get cracking with that and then we'll get this Porsche looking its absolute best. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of these high peak touch-ins that have been applied by the owner. While they've done a great job of protecting the car from any corrosion, they really are quite unsightly. And when the paint's going to be perfect around it, it's just going to stand out even more. So we're going in here with some 2000 grit sandpaper and some water as a lubrication. We're being very gentle, we could use a sanding block, but I prefer the feel I can feel what the paint is doing underneath my fingertips and I'll know when we've sanded it just to the right amount. Now we may lift some of the paint out completely and there are some fresh chips that we're going to have to address. So this is going to be our first stage and then we'll address the further touching in after that. A simple little mix of guard red and we mix a little clear in and we'll finish touching in these chips and then repeat the wet sanding process all over again. Now that the fresh paint is cured, we tackle the sanding again. Again, going in with the same process with the 2000 grit paper and having a little bit more care just because that paint's going to be fresher than those old chips. Then, that's going to be when you see the finished product and that's when it can get quite scary for some people. What a lot have we done. Trust me, this looks scarier than it really is. That's everything leveled and flattened out and now we can concentrate on getting on to the next part, which is the paint correction. It's going to look awesome. We were able to one step it using Zippers medium cut and one of their awesome yellow pads for the vast majority of the car. The areas that have been sanded, we had to step that up to Zipper heavy cut and we use one of the red heavy cut pads. That ended just a little bit of micro marring in those areas, but we dealt with that and now the car looks absolutely fantastic. It's worth bearing in mind, this is our minor correction. That's where we aim to give the car a good 80% improvement and so far I'm pleased to say that it's actually a bit higher than that. It's hard as a detailer to draw that line, but you have to work with the customer's budget and the intention from the job. So for resale, this is the perfect thing to do. Even in strong sunlight or LED or artificial lighting, this car really looks fantastic now. It's not going to give any future buyers any chance to really pick up on any niggly defects that they might put them off the car or more likely try and hide them. So now we're going to get on to the finishing touches of the car and lay down some protection. As we said, we are not going down the ceramic route of this car, but it doesn't mean that we can't prep the car properly and apply meaningful protection. What we're going to be doing is G-Technique's Liquid Crystal C2 V3. To get this to bond properly, if you're using this product at home, it's awesome, but it is well worth spending your time and wiping the car down with panel wipes so that it can bond, and you're going to get the best longevity, and it's going to add to the appearance of the car too. So we're going to crack on with that. Now we need to introduce a member of staff that, well, you guys have never seen before on the channel. Probably my favourite member of staff, definitely the hardest working, always a smile on his face, does everything that you ask for him, and like every other man, just needs his bag emptied every now and again. I'm sexy and I know it. Well yeah, Henry. So we're going to start in with some of the interior now, and then we'll put the finishing touches to the car, and that wraps this one up, but it really does look good.
Porsche is complete, it looks awesome. So all there's left to do is show you how it looks. Doesn't that look absolutely awesome? It just goes to show you guys that the real secret to a glossy finish, it's not the ceramic coatings, it's the prep, it's the machine polishing. Now this little Porsche only got our minor correction. For resale, that really was the perfect service to choose. It now looks fantastic in all lighting conditions and there really isn't any room for a buyer to negotiate or to pick any flaws that might put them off the car. We could have went further with her major paint correction or our ultimate mirror finish detail. That's where we take paint to the absolute extreme and you'll see one of those very soon on the channel. Next video that you're gonna see is this awesome little Fiesta ST behind me. It's a brand new performance edition. There's only 300 of them made. You'll be able to catch that video next week. So for now, that brings the video to an end. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, give us your thoughts in the comment section. We love reading them, good or bad. All right, guys, see you soon. Thanks.